you. And Lydia, despite having no hope of anything ever rekindling between us. All okay. Right. <laughs> you know what? That clears a lot. That clears a lot. Sometimes girls just think about getting to the altar. Mm -hmm. But what are you marrying? Is a question. What are you marrying? Hey guys, welcome back to Humanoa Resource. We survived the apocalypse. How Solar like eclipse. Okay, babes. fine, sure. All right, okay. <laughs> apocalypse, what? Yeah. Listen, there was a lot the of people- and all that stuff. There was a lot of people on TikTok that were crying, <laughs> devastated and everything. Uh, we definitely separated at that time. Yeah, we're just like, if it's gonna get oh. us, mm -hmm. we're at to be different locations so yeah. that <laughs> we can decrease the percentage of our family exactly. line surviving. <laughs> you... I, I was in a place of worship, I'm gonna say. <laughs> I was literally- in the middle of a community that had nothing to do with my community. Yeah. Blending it with the locals. But you know what? What we saw was basically barely nothing. Uh, we saw uh, a dimming of the lights. That's it. Literally. Some people in Toronto. They in Montreal. In Montreal. Blackout. Yeah. The lights were yeah. turned off. Mm -hmm. In the city we're from, mm -hmm. the lights were dimmed down. I'm like, that's it? That's it? That's all we're getting today? Okay, whatever. Okay, so regardless, we survived. Thank God. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> so there is a video on TikTok that might go viral. Yeah, I we, think it is. Actually, you know why? It has a million views so far. It's been out for two days. And I feel like it's and trickling. And they blocked the comment section. They definitely did that. However, looking at the video, it was a wedding video based on two people getting married, obviously. Mm -hmm. It looks... It's wedding season, isn't it? It's wedding season. It's the, it's the spring. Okay. So looking at the video, the bride, the groom, they look gorgeous, pretty, fantastic. The dress looks great. The groom looks dashing. Okay. It's what they said that was really concerning for me. And Chris actually ended our relationship for eight months. And every, every night for eight months, oh my God. I would say out loud, I love you. And Lydia, despite having no hope of anything ever rekindling between us, <laughs> stayed in contact and like she would even go out of her way to show ways that she was still thinking about me and still caring about that? stuff. One day I was driving and I got a text that said, would you like, to go out with me again. And I think I just said yes. I didn't want to say yes with, you know, as many exclamation marks as I felt like I wanted to say, but okay. that's what my heart was saying. So, um, so we did. We started over. We should even start right now. I am so embarrassed for her, for them. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I know you probably, guys will probably say that they're getting married. Be happy for them. This is love. You know, what are they going to say to us? Right one, right place, right time. Mm -hmm. Oh, sure. You guys have a wrong time. Okay. No, this is not one of these cases, guys. This video is going viral for a reason. It's because of the words they are saying to each other. Mm -hmm. This yeah. guy dumped her for eight months. No contact. Now, we don't know the nature and why he dumped her. Yeah. but We don't know if the child is even theirs. There is a kid. I don't know if it's her child and he was just dating uh, a single mother or if it's their child together. So if he was really the father, did he go eight months without no contact? That's what I'm saying. Like, did he just abandon his child? So that's why I assume probably it's her kid and not his. And he just left yeah. with no say not saying anything yeah the part yeah. that got me in his little sh speech with the boys mm -hmm. is when he turned look at them and said that at some moment she almost had no hope of rekindling things between us mm -hmm. did you guys see that mm -hmm. balls they in my court yeah like he's the man she said i will go out and say out loud i love you right i don't know if she let him know so so many times that saying that you know i love this man i want you to come back please come back i need you and all that she probably fought for this relationship. He realized... Definitely did. You know, he realized, you know what? This woman's a little bit too desperate for me and I'm going to go see what's out there. First of all, before we get into that, because that's a subject we need to really talk about because the ladies do this. Let's continue what he's talking about next. It's been a long and often challenging road to get us here. And I'm sorry that it's taken us so long. Oh. Thank you for being patient. I'm sorry that it's been hard. Oh. Thank you for not giving up on me. You have been for me and stood by me and loved me well especially when I don't deserve it. I love you, Lydia. Wow. I love that God has allowed me the honor and blessing of being your husband. I'm so thankful that I get to be the father of our children. Of our children. I'm so excited to love you, serve you, and grow in friendship with you for the rest of my life. I love you so much. Forever I do. All okay. Right. <laughs> you know what? That clears a lot. That clears a lot. Okay, let's do the positive again, okay? 
beautiful wedding, beautiful dress, seems like a really cute couple. They're the same height almost <laughs> and all of that, okay? Now, it's like I said before, it's the words that he's choosing to use that seems so shocking to me. He, co he covered a lot right there. Yeah. Thank you for having the patience to put up with me while I figure things out. So let me get to the point that I wanted to say earlier, okay? Okay, go ahead. Some women, what they do is they would be so infatuated mm -hmm. and enamored by a guy that they would hype his ish up so badly to the point where he will turn around and say, I can then go find better. Of course. And when they go out there with that confidence, that boost. That mindset. That 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 woman specifically gave him no other. Not even his mama gave him that. Mm -hmm. That girl gave him that. All right. He would go ahead and apply it to all women, thinking that he's that ish too. He went and back when, in the single game. Exactly. Right? And when he tried it out. Right. And when he finds out real quick that nobody's looking at him the way his ex girl now is looking at him, that's when he has a good realization and comes running back to her. Mm hmm. And it took him eight months. And it took him eight months. And that's not the first time I heard a story like this. I heard that There's so several many times. stories like that. Several times. What um, do you call women like that? What do you call a scenario like that? He really believed he had something going on. I believe if she had gave him found out silence, quick. okay, silence within that eight months and did her and, you know, thrive to, you know, seek certain goals or achieve certain things or just even date and, you know, focus on herself. This, the tune that he's playing would be totally different. 100%. Yeah. So right now, basically, he's saying we're in a struggle love. Okay, this is struggle love. Okay, I, I focused on myself. I worked on myself in order to come back to you. In worked reality... Worked on myself or more like I couldn't find what I was looking for and therefore I'm going to settle with you because is that his bundle of joy with her? I think that's his kid now. Okay, He said father to Not, our kids. Yeah, so I think I'm going to come back and be the true father that I'm supposed to be destined with mm -hmm. and with you. What is this? <laughs> Let me tell you, there's a, there's, a, there's a lot of women in the game who are saying that sometimes you need to struggle or go through things in order to get your happy ending, isn't it? And right. apparently that's what she she took in, right? Do you got one that is? Not me? Yeah. <laughs> apparently I didn't struggle enough, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, sometimes girls just think about getting to the altar. Mm -hmm. But what are you marrying is a question. What are you marrying? Because this is their story that's publicized. And I can see it right now. It's a crazy struggle. Love. And I believe 100%. He doesn't respect her the way she respects him. Period. Of course. Because he didn't talk about any of her positive attributes. Right? He didn't say that, oh, she makes me smile. Uh, her personality is f phenomenal. Um, I love it how she Great smiled. mother of our kids. Well, I keep on saying smile. How she is around with our kids. I love it how she is a kind-hearted person. I like it how, you know, her little quirks are just adorable for me. He didn't Great mention, family. You know, great family woman and all that. He didn't mention any of that. He talked about what she did for him. Yeah. You know, she was patient for me. She was kind to well, me. I figured it out. You know, she was there for me all the time. You know, she probably sent me little the fact messages. That, given the know, fact that there was that you no hope. You're a good person and all that. Yeah. She did a lot for this man, right? And now she's in a position, yes, you're a married woman, but how long is that going to continue? He might leave you again, okay? You're not, not, you're not certain that this relationship will last, you know, when you have a man who act like that in the beginning in the relationship. So... God forbid that he does that. But this is a great lesson that women, you should not take any ring ring that is available for you. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Or stop even fighting for a ring that is not even meant for you. Mm -hmm. This guy this guy showed her so many levels of struggle, I would say. So many levels, right? And at this point, I feel like he threw the ring at her. All those dates. He went through it probably. He went, went through Vanessa, Paige, <laughs> uh, uh, we'll call it uh, Ashley, Amanda, yeah, all, these all these women. Young girls. And they said, ew. <laughs> They said, you're not it. Yeah. And then he said, but what's her girl's name? Lydia. Yeah. Said him all that. She Lydia said, loves me. Then go to Lydia. Mm -hmm. And they said, okay, Lydia, I'm back. Listen, I know, a, like, I know several girls, okay? I know several Scary. girls, but there's one story that really, you know, peaked in my head right now. Um, that the girl was in love with a guy. Um, she lost her V card with him. She was, they were oh, very new. Yeah, were very, they were very known in the community and all that. And um, and the, plus the family knew each other, okay? And she loved him so much. Mm -hmm. You know when those girls ex explain that my man is so hot, so hot, and you've never yeah. seen it before? But <laughs> but the way she describes it, it's like, okay, now I got to see him. Yeah, I got to see him. I'm curious. And when you see him, you're like, yeah, yeah I'm curious. Oh, yeah. that's what you think. Yeah. So regardless, um, unfortunately, the, la the relationship didn't last at that moment. 
and he went his separate ways, got with another girl, right? Because he really liked the other girl. He, so he dumped his girlfriend. What she did was the part that was really shocking to me. For one whole year, for one whole year, yeah, she was crying. She was devastated. She Depressed. was shocked. She was, yeah. She, she went through sick. it. She, uh, she, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. even when I'm sick, I mean, she lost physically weight, sick. She lost hair, everything, because some guy... And broke out, too. Uh, sure, sure, sure. Uh, some guy left her to choose another woman, okay? Mm -hmm. Other than that, the community kind of, kind of, I would say kind of, mentioned to him or acknowledged, made him acknowledge that you did this girl dirty, okay? Yeah. So I don't know if he went... So eventually, he did go back to her. Because the, the relationship that, that he went in didn't work out. So he went back to his ex-girlfriend. They've been together for how many years after that? Another seven years. And they finally got married. And let me tell you, the girl. She changed her tune a little bit. She changed her tune, right? Changed the story. And now she said that the guy chased her. He wanted her and all that. Okay. Knowing that the community already know the story about it. Yeah. The thing is, a lot of people just focus on the external skeleton, all right? Married, okay? Sure. Made it through the altars. Exactly. But nobody wants to emphasize or focus on the foundation of your marriage. Is there respect? Mm -hmm. Is there dignity? Is there trust? Is there loyalty? Is mm -hmm. there commitment? Is there compatibility? I can keep on going all day. Mm -hmm. Do you have that, okay? That's what's going to keep the marriage surviving. And if he's already talking, they're so comfortable. I'm just going to use this guy as an example. If he's so comfortable to stand in front of a bunch of guys <laughs> that don't know him and her very well. The details of their relationship. And breaks down the detail like, oh, there at one point she had no hope to get yeah, with me. Yeah, because I'm the prize. Yeah. What does that say a lot about how you guys talk to each other at home? Like, at this point, she was the one who chased him. And I think she's going to continue chasing him. Listen, there's It no makes sense why the video is going viral right now, okay? And I'd like to hear other people's feedback on mm -hmm. that one. So obviously we you know we're using these guys as an example because they're the one who went and, and exposed their relationship for the public to to see and consume. But there's a lot to learn out of relationships like that. Okay, <laughs> don't fall in it. And some people <laughs> might look at that and say that she ended up getting married. I can do it too. <laughs> and, and again, that's your story. That's gonna be your life. So what do you tell women who are getting older and they haven't ha found the right one? That's a conversation for another day. There's 30 and plus reason. women who are not married they and they still didn't find their Prince Charming. So clearly we're at the end of our video. I think it was wonderful, to be honest. It was definitely showing a lot of examples of what not to get. What not to aspire in a relationship, I think. Exactly. And hopefully they do succeed in this relationship, especially yeah. there's a child involved. And Stay uh, together, committed yeah. to each other. Yeah. And having love and respect like everybody should in a relationship. So obviously we hope these guys the best. Yeah. And at that point, you guys, please subscribe and like this video. And bye now.